everybody, this is Team Flame. How's your everyday life? Is your spirit soul okay? Today, I want to touch on the world that is not visible to us, but has a huge influence on our lives. Also, this world plays a very important role in the evolution of the grand universe. In what aspect? I will give you an answer. Let's just start taking our adventure to that world, which is described in Captain Udaka's message, the operational principle of the planet's spiritual hierarchy. Please listen carefully. One planet has one spiritual hierarchy installed and operated. The spiritual hierarchy of a planet is also known as the astral plane of a planet and belongs to the fifth dimension in the structural aspect of the grand universe. Those who are in charge of the spiritual hierarchy of a planet are the administrators of the planet's spiritual hierarchy. The administrators of the spiritual hierarchy of the planet Earth are also known as the Great White Brotherhood. The administrators of the spiritual hierarchy of a planet are the spirit souls whose energies are similar or the same with each other in line with the characteristics and dimension of the planet's Gaia consciousness, as well as its wave patterns. The administrators of the spiritual hierarchy of a planet operate their planet and have responsibility for their planet's evolution. On the other hand, the general spirit souls are supposed to have material experiences for their own evolution. The administrators of the spiritual hierarchy of a planet do not exist for their own evolution. In fact, the way they evolve is different from the one that the general spirit souls use. This is why they are sometimes called the spirit soul group that does not evolve. Besides the role to operate and manage a planet for the planetary evolution, the administrators of the planet's spiritual hierarchy serve for the evolution of the spirit souls belonging to their spiritual hierarchy. There is a spirit in charge of the Gaia consciousness of a planet. This spirit doesn't belong to the administrator group of the planet's spiritual hierarchy. The spirit in charge of the Gaia consciousness of a planet can be incarnated into the material world of her planet to have the material experience. However, the spirit of the Gaia consciousness of a planet does not have the material experience for the sake of her own evolution. She helps her planet's evolution through the process of incarnation only when necessary. This should be in line with the roadmap for the planetary evolution stored in the Gaia consciousness of a planet. The administrator group of the spiritual hierarchy of a planet is subdivided into specialized departments involved in planning, approving, and carrying out the programs for the planetary evolution, respectively. The administrators of the planet's spiritual hierarchy have the authority to directly run their planets through the planet's transmigration or reincarnation system, which enables them to be incarnated as their avatars suitable for the direction of their planetary evolution. The administrators of the spiritual hierarchy are special spirit souls who should operate and manage their planet. Thus, the number of thought adjusters granted to them when their spirits are born is three to five times more than that of the general spirit soul group. Moreover, the size and capacity of a single thought adjuster given to them are also said to be five to ten times larger than that of the general spirit soul. The administrative group of the spiritual hierarchy is a sort of appointed officials who are granted special thought adjusters by the curator in order to operate and manage their planet. The administrator group of the spiritual hierarchy are also includes all the energy beings or angels belonging to the planet. They are classified as the general administrative officials belonging to the administrative group of the spiritual hierarchy in a broad sense. In the administrator group who operate and manage a planet and the planet's spiritual hierarchy, only the spirits 
who were granted special thought or justice by the Creator are referred to as the executive administrators of the spiritual hierarchy or the directors of the spiritual hierarchy. The highest cosmic rank in the spiritual hierarchy of a planet is the 13th dimension. The chief executive administrator as the chief decision maker of the spiritual hierarchy is assigned to the 13th dimensional administrator group. There used to be some beings or people who are known as Buddhas or Bodhisattvas to Buddhists or the Twelve Apostles of Jesus in Christianity. Their cosmic titles are in fact indicating the administrative group of the spiritual hierarchy of a planet or the cosmic administrative groups involved in the management of the universe. There are 13th dimensional or 15th dimensional administrators in the administrator groups belonging to the world of Umiang and Tegu, which encompasses the dimensions from the 13th through the 15th dimension. The Buddhist goddess of mercy or Gansengun Bosal means the highest level energy being in the 13th dimensional administrative group. In addition, Popadin Bosal and Demyosang Bosal are the highest level energy beings in the 15th dimensional administrative group. There are 15th dimensional administrators in the administrative groups in the world of the Mugu, which indicates the dimensions between the 16th and the 18th dimension. Amitabha Buddha and Sakamuni Buddha are among the 17th dimensional administrators. Finally, there are 18th dimensional administrators in the administrator groups in the world of the Mugu. The 12 soul spirits are among the 18th dimensional administrators and the ultimate and chief administrator of the grand universe is the creator, also known as Vairokana or Maitreya. The reason the spiritual hierarchy exists on a planet is to manage the planet. The management of a planet means planning and carrying out the roadmap for the planetary evolution. The spiritual hierarchy of a planet exists to supervise and help the spirit souls belonging to the planet's spiritual hierarchy to evolve through gaining material experiences. The reason the spiritual hierarchy exists to manage the spirit soul's karma, which has occurred during the spirit soul's evolutionary journey in the material world. In other words, the spiritual hierarchy should balance the karmas of spirit souls properly. For this purpose, the spiritual hierarchy should manage the planet's reincarnation system well in line with each spirit soul's evolutionary program for material experiences. The organization of the spiritual hierarchy is as follows. In general, the chief executive administrator of the spiritual hierarchy is assigned to a 13th dimensional administrator who is assisted by the administrators involved in the management of the spiritual hierarchy of a planet. The cosmic ranks of administrators of the spiritual hierarchy are subdivided into the first through the 15th level for each dimension. The 11th dimensional administrators are mostly middle level administrators of the spiritual hierarchy and the lower level positions are assigned to the ninth, seventh, and fifth dimensional administrators. The light workers from the alien planets used to be either chief executive administrators or administrators of the spiritual hierarchies of their home planets, which ended up being destroyed by getting out of the evolutionary path unique to their planets. They are participating in the Earth dimensional ascension with their own cosmic karmas and their ambitions to rebuild their planet. The original spirits of the administrators of the spiritual hierarchy are residing in the dimensions corresponding to their cosmic ranks. The original spirits downgrade part of its spirit energy to the fifth dimension through the spiritual differentiation process feeding to the vibrational frequency of the fifth dimension. 
by harnessing such fifth-dimensional spirit energies, these original spirits organize the spiritual hierarchy in the fifth dimension and also operate as planet. Each planet has a different composition of administrators constituting its spiritual hierarchy. The dimensions and vibrational frequencies of the administrators who make up the spiritual hierarchy vary from planet to planet. The fact that the spiritual hierarchy is organized for a planet means that the transmigration or reincarnation system of the planet is ready for its operation. If a planet has only minerals and plants or has a simple material matrix because its civilization is not developed yet, then the planet's spiritual hierarchy does not need to be complexly organized or composed of high dimensional spirits. The organization and administrator composition of the spiritual hierarchy of a planet with humans as the planet's dominant species are inevitably different from those of planets with reptiles or other animals as their dominant species. The administrator composition of the spiritual hierarchy of a planet depends on the following three parameters. The first one is the evolutionary process of a planet. The second one is the developmental level of the material and spiritual civilization of a planet. And the third one is the circumstance in which a planet is uniquely involved. The younger the planet, the lower dimensional, the administrators that make up the planet's spiritual hierarchy. An experimental planet has its spiritual hierarchy composed of higher dimensional administrators. The spiritual hierarchy of a seed planet is organized with diverse dimensional administrators from low to high dimensions. The higher the planet's Gaia consciousness, the more the high dimensional administrators who make up the spiritual hierarchy and the more the administrators who participate in the operation of the spiritual hierarchy. For the light workers whose consciousness is being awakened, for the heavenly people who are waking up their consciousness, and for the people who shall live on the new earth, under the new heaven, the secret of the grand universe is being disclosed in communication with the heaven and in coordination with the heaven. I, Captain Udeka, am writing this article as a record. December 27, in 2018, Udeka wrote. His message was translated by Twin Flame. Thank you so much for listening. Bye.